uh, you know, professor, she's assistant professor from uh, Gitanjali Institute of Technical Studies. And she is uh, Deepika Sahu. She is also an ex-student or you may say alumna of my host uh, college, uh, Bhopal Nobles Girls College. She has finished with her PhD and she is working in one of the Udaipur uh, famous uh, technical university called as Gitanjali Technical University of Studies. And I mean, uh, Deepika, can you take yes, the board? Welcome, ma'am, Professor Bartha, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, good, uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. Can you turn on your camera? Please turn uh, on your camera. If, if you like. Just a second, ma'am. Uh, like, if I can speak like this, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all, okay. Okay. Professor, so, uh, better, better your camera is not on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, to all the participants, Professor uh, Bertha, who is here with us. And uh, I, I humbly welcome you in this uh, Bhopal Nobles uh, uh, Language Studies workshop, which themed creative language teaching criticism, films and text. And uh, I thank to Jayashree ma'am and Professor Jaya Chakrabarti for organizing this uh, beautiful workshop that we are learning a lot. So here I take the privilege to read the uh, brief introduction of Bertha ma'am here. Uh, Professor Bertha Alviro Otero belongs to Argentina and uh, completed his education uh, in teacher of English for EGB first and second cycle, which is granted by Instituto Superior de Formation. And his, uh, her literary work includes that she's an author of ESL activity book and ebook. Uh, learning English with Movies, David Copperfield, based on the movie, David Copperfield, registered as an unpublished book in November 2018 and self-published in June 2021. Moreover, she has transcribed many movies, scripts to be used as resources in the English ling language teaching. And uh, her specialized areas are, uh, she's a uh, she has completed teacher training courses in Business English for Teachers, granted by On Target Institute in 2011. And uh, major areas are Pedagogy of English Language Phonology, Module 1 and Module 2, which were granted by uh, University Univers National D. Sam Martin in 2010. Her teaching experience, employment experiences, from May 2008 to March 2014, she had worked as an English teacher in Institute uh, Educativo Argentina, teaching English to higher education students. And uh, from February 2014 to the present, she worked in the inspection companies, oil test like companies, and she, there she has uh, given her services. At present, uh, she belonged to the consultancy, uh, teacher staff of the online English teaching international platform. And uh, for more than 40 years, she has worked as a private teacher home tutor, giving support on English to many students from 2021 onwards. And her interest areas are that uh, she uh, she wished to, uh, wished to be able to continue writing educational English books to contribute in the teaching of the English language. So ma'am, uh, we are overwhelmed that uh, you are here with us and we, are, uh, we have this opportunity to listen to you. And thankful, we are so thankful to you that uh, you have given your pre uh, precious time to us that uh, we students are highly beneficial, that we are listening to you and learning a lot from you. Thank you, ma'am. Over to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, your presentation of myself. I'm very grateful and very honored to be here. And I want to ask you um, if are there students um, that have a low level of English here? Or no. are all, all of you are... Uh, Degree, upper. degree students, degree students mostly. So they, degree they know we university, university college students. Okay, yes, because I we are going to do our course now with with my book. So perhaps uh, there are students that are not very familiar with lots of the vocabulary in English, and in a, a way of. Um, um, teaching. Uh, do you, I, I will show you, you a way of. 
uh, Professor Bertha, do you wish to share your screen? Yes, yes, of course. So first you share your screen so that I may turn off my screen. Yes, here you are. We yes. can see. This is the, uh, this is the, the movie, not the, when the movie starts. So uh, you have seen the movie the other day, the complete ten, the first 10 minutes. Now we are going to watch it again, but I will pause the, the video little by little, and I will ask you some questions. But I want the students to answer the questions. For example, this part um, or this scene, uh, where do you think it is? It is taken this scene. Can you imagine or can you guess where is this picture from? Uh, which picture? We can't uh, see. Uh, you, ah, you can't see. Sorry. Yeah, uh, we can't I, see. I am. I am not sharing um, the screen. No, ah, you are not sharing. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, a ver. Ah, porque claro, I, I forgot to do this. These steps. Are, are you uh, looking something now? Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll inform you. Yes, there is now your screen shared. We can see something. Uh, anybody from uh, viewers and uh, attendees can answer Professor Berta's questions. You can turn on your camera and mute yourself. Please answer. I can see many will, of you are attending. I, I will repeat the question. Can you see, first of all, can you see the image? Yes, we can see uh, the image. Yes. So you have to tell me where do you think this picture is from? Or what can you see in that picture? One student uh, can, can, ask, can answer the, the question. All the outsiders from BN, please answer the question. Can you hear me? Deepika, can you hear us? Yes, Perhaps they can chat, uh, they can write in the chat box. Uh, I think, Professor Beta, you can do one thing. Instead of uh, raising uh, questions or queries to uh, audience right now, uh, you can do later on. First, you just deliver that how you have uh, you know, develop the pedagogy with regard to this picture and the other slides. You keep discussing the pedagogy with each slide. And yes. then when you, uh, then later on, uh, I'll, uh, after, you know, uh, quarter past seven, for 10 minutes, you can raise certain kind of uh, queries to um, viewers. Because if you are start uh, in the very beginning, I think uh, they are slowly, gradually coming in. Uh, taking time uh, to enter. Yes, so you yes. develop, those who are attending, you tell them that, see, this is the screen uh, uh, picture, for example, and how I have developed uh, questions. And these are the questions for the uh, students. And this is my first step of this sort of, uh, uh, the, right? So you discuss the steps. I think whatever you have written in your book. <clears throat> yes. So I, I, am, I, I am trying to give you a, a model of how to work with the book. For example, you uh, show or you play the movie for the first 10 minutes. Then you play it again <clears throat> and you post the movie and you ask questions to your students. For example, where is this picture? Imagine, you don't know, but you can imagine, you can say that there are mountains uh, there <clears throat> and uh, could be a country in Europe, for example, uh, Switzerland, because in Switzerland there are mountains mm -hmm. and here th there is a, a lake, it could be a river because students don't know, but it could be a lake and you know that in Switzerland there are lakes and mountains 
and there is a beautiful park here and a this big house this big building could be a hotel could be a resort uh, could be a country manor mm -hmm. so perhaps if uh, they don't understand they have to put their hands up but i cannot see <laughs> if they are putting their hands up um, so you can uh, help me change free uh, and tell me if somebody is putting uh, their hand, hands up. Uh, uh, I just see from the audience. Actually, in my business account, I can see only a few ones. Uh, but from outside, there are many uh, who are watching you and listening to you. Uh, that's why you have to. I, I told you that the uh, you this uh, you can't expect many of the Indians participate uh, participatory Indians uh, answering your queries or on whatever short questions you are delivering. Uh, you can do one thing like uh, you have written three hundred pages. So like you discussed today, your first ten pages uh, 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 rolling down on the screen of your book. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, but uh, before reading uh, the script, I wanted mm -hmm. the students to watch it, the movie again and uh, mm -hmm. pausing uh, the video in certain places. For example, this one. So we are going to continue watching and I will pause in, an, in another part. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a way of uh, opening schemata from the, for the students because mm -hmm. They are going to be familiar with all the objects that are in this image. Because the, the book, if you read the book, there is a whole description of everything. But in the movie, mm. you no need to describe because it is descriptive in the in the image itself, in itself. So you see that the, there is vegetation, there are uh, trees, a, a, a stair staircase here of made of uh, grass, for example. Mm -hmm. Well, let's continue watching and I, I will pause uh, again in another part. Now, you have to tell me what means of transport is used in this image. If the students are not participating, uh, teachers can. So they can tell me. Uh, Which Amar, means Amar Kumar, so many are there. Why don't you answer? Unmute yourself, all of you. I think uh, um, perhaps the administrator might have controlled their, you know, uh, their, uh, so that's why you have to be ready with uh, every sort of participants because sometimes the participants are very passive. So this, this is the only the testing time of the professor or the teacher, how you deal with. Well, I, I ask questions because I want to take the students uh, to the emotion of the movie. For example, yeah, I, will ask, I will ask the students, how is this man? By the repeat, look, your, repeat your question. Repeat your yes, question. How does this man look like? And how is he? You can look for the for his face that he is not happy. He is sad. Or he has nostalgic because he is not in his own country. You see that uh, from the mountains that he is in Switzerland. And the means of transport is a boat. What is he doing? If I ask some question, I, I want this, the students to speak and I want the students to tell me that the man is rowing his boat or is rowing a boat in in on, on a lake mm. bueno let's continue yeah. and you see that he is not happy from the face from his face he's not happy
and now what is he doing? Well, I will answer uh, for the students. He is going up the stairs. And uh, you can see that it is not a poor place. It is a rich place because the building is very important, very magnificent. Also, you can see that he is very well dressed. He is not a poor man. You can tell by by what the, the, the movie shows us. And can you tell me who is this man? What characters? Uh, does he represent in the movie and in the book? No one can, can answer. Well, this man is David Copperfield, the lead or the first character. And uh, the movie begins with a flashback because the movie begins here when he is an adult and he is going to write his book from the beginning of his life. He's going to write about his memories uh, when he was a child. The music that you are hearing tells you that the story is not very happy because it's a sad music also. The music gives you uh, ideas or uh, uh, hints that uh, it is a, a sad story. Yes, and in this image, you can see where they are. Uh, what do you think uh, this place is? It is a tea house, the tea house that belongs to the big resort. Uh, and um, they, people are having tea there. And uh, what can you tell me about this image that they are arguing? David is arguing with a, a man, a gentleman who was there sitting at that table, and he reacts in a, in a bad way, throwing the table and all its contents to the floor, as you can see. And I will ask you who that people are. For example, who is that man? Who is that woman? I told you before, well, while I, uh, I presented you the characters and the actors. Uh, do you remember 
who is that man? A, a teacher can ask me if the student if the students can't, a teacher can ask me, who is that man? This is Mr. Merson, and this woman is Mr. Merson's sister. And those are girls, uh, ladies, that are acquainted to David. I did it for myself, to save myself. Now, oh, if you'll excuse me, Miss Horton, Mum. Such a very distinguished man. <laughs> Now you have to tell me what uh, do you think he's doing? Uh, where is he now? Because first he was at the tea house. Now he is in another place. Where is he? Can anybody answer me? Well, he is in his room hotel, in his room resort, because he is not his house. He is spending some time in Switzerland. And he opens the window to breathe fresh air because he has passed through, a, he, ha, he has a, gone through a very bad situation, a very unpleasant situation in the argument that he had with that man, with Mr. Merston. That, by the way, Mr. Merston is David's stepfather. I shall turn out to be the hero of my own life, or whether that station will be held by anybody else, these pages must show. To begin my life with the beginning of my life, I here record that I was born at Blunderston in Suffolk. I was a posthumous child. My father's eyes had closed upon the light of this world six months when my uncle died. I will ask you who is that, that woman. Can you remember from the other day that I told you? Well, no answers. I, I'll answer for you. He, she is a Miss Betsy, Dave, uh, David's father's aunt. And where is she now? She is at the cemetery. The cemetery. Exactly, yes. I want you to, to participate because students uh, are, are going to speak with me and are going to uh, understand better, understanding in context. They are uh, learning in context as is, is, if it, uh, it was life coming, uh, going through, through their lives, as if they were in the movie. They are uh, wearing the shoes of the characters. Mm? They are in their character's shoes. So she is Miss Betsy and she's uh, going to the cemetery. Very, very well. Very Aunt good. of my father's, 
and consequently a great aunt of mine, Miss Betsy Hesse, was the principal magnate of our family. My father had once been a favorite of hers, I believe. But she and who who is whose tomb is this? Whose tomb? Who died? David's mother. David's no David's father. 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 David's father. 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 Right. Because the tomb says the name of uh, David Copperfield. And his father has the same name as uh, David. Both have the same name. Mm -hmm. She is visiting uh, the cemetery and especially uh, the David's uh, his uh, nephew's uh, tomb or graveyard. He was mortally affronted when he married my mother without first presenting her for inspection and approval. You can tell me uh, how is she? What is uh, what are her emotions? She was very sad. She was crying. Mm -hmm. This is uh, what you have to elicit from the students, to elicit uh, language and to express the emotions of the characters. I will ask you, what means of transport is uh, Miss Betsy traveling on? What means of transport is this? It is a coach. And uh, where is she approaching to? Whose house is that? that he, she is approaching. Clara's Copperfield house, or David's mother's house. And it has a name. Do you remember uh, the name of the house? Some teachers can answer me. You don't remember? You will see that there is a sign, and let's, let's continue watching to see. Miss Betsy and my father never met again, and she'd never seen my mother. The Rockery. Indeed. Where are the rocks? I see no such bird. Huh. then was the state of matters on what I may be excused for calling that important day. Who is that woman sitting there? And how is his state? Well, she's Clara, Clara <gasps> Copperfield. In the front door. And as you see from her belly that she is pregnant. Field, I think. Yes? Miss Betsy Trotwood. You have heard of her, I dare say. I have had that pleasure. And now you see her. Oof. Oof. 
you can also tell uh, that it is uh, late in the evening and from the sound there is a storm from the from the sound of the thunderstorm there is a storm and it is uh, raining and also it is a cold day that's why she is putting a log into the fire to get warmer And you see that Clara Copperfield is uh, crying. Why is she crying? Can you imagine why? Teachers can ask, can answer me. No idea, because he has lost his husband, and she feels very poor. She feels very sad. <laughs> labor pains she is due to um, to have uh, his her baby well now uh, I'm going to go to the book because we are going to read all the wording that is uh, in, in the book and the book is the script what the characters have just said so uh, here can you see the book Yes, we can um, see. Excellent. So I will need uh, one person to read, uh, to be the narrator, not to read this part. Another to take part of David. Another to take part of uh, Clara, Clara Copperfield. And another to take part of Miss Betsy. So three students. Assign you a J three three students or teachers is the same. Okay, I'll just try. Uh, Josna, are you there? Josna, Deepika, please turn on your cameras or your voice. Uh, unmute yourself, please. Uh, Pratik, I think. Uh, I just don't know how the administrator has done there. Oh, wait. You muted everyone who, who could be muted. Uh, better you uh, have to 
try to understand these parties uh, there's something going on wrong with the administrator uh, or technical operator perhaps they have uh, turned off their you know cam uh, whatever the microphones because it, uh, i can see here they are all all muted ma'am i can try if you can hear me am i audible yes you are audible so you are one one of the role player okay now like anybody me. else why are they not turning on their yours is muted samina ma'am i can unmute myself why the others are not unmuting what's the problem purvi lalita punam i can see there are so many but they are not uh, unmuting themselves ma'am ma'am can you just try to click on the mic icon and unmute them from your end mm uh, i i'm trying but uh, you know i think the administrator has muted all the mics i can because i tried but they, it is showing you know like uh, in a dull shade professor bertha are you there you muted everyone who could be muted i have already uh... no ma'am i am on unmute only i think uh, you will have to change the settings or something if you can make me the host i can check for you i'm sorry ma'am i am on the way that's why i am not telling anything i'm just watching so the at video at least at least you all participate after... now all of you participate yes. what's the issue why there's so much of request okay. Uh, ma'am, just uh, after three minutes, I'll reach my home and uh, I'll. There are no excuses. Uh, When you are attending class, there are no excuses. Hello. Prati, uh, Deepa, why don't you unmute yourself? Yes, ma'am. Why so much of time you all are taking? You are participating in class, attending the class. Your professors are asking you regularly questions. You people are not answering. Okay, now Professor Bertha, are you there? They See, are all yes, yes. now they will answer you i i have to go to the book again no but i am uh, clicking the the arrow the up or arrow but it does Not, nothing happens so shall i um, um, share the book with you yes let no. me see where you posted me the book god can you can you share uh, i have to see in which uh, i have to search in which of the emails you posted to me dr jayshri singh or what professor jayshri singh forgotten i don't remember yeah i see him with me uh just wait bertha 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 ver now now i i still think i i come a ver no hmm Yes. There are three tabs. If your book is on the bar, yes, you are coming closer. It's opening. But I think it went. <laughs> It went. I mean, no, I don't have my book here. But sorry, I will um, search for it just now. Just give me some seconds. Okay. 
Can you see anything? <clears throat> yes, ma'am, it's visible. Uh, <clears throat> is the front page of my book, can you see? Learning English with movies, that page is visible, ma'am. I think that's the introduction page. Yes, yes, it is. So I'm going to... <clears throat> the, uh, this is the word uh, version of the book <clears throat> because <clears throat> the PDF is in another part, in another place. Well, here begins the first chapter. So, who is going to read, to be the narrator, to read this part? Can I try, ma'am? Yes, yes, of course. What's your name? Shubra Roy. What? Shubra Roy. Shubra Doy. Roy, Roy. So I, I pronounce uh, it incorrectly. Sorry, because I don't speak. Just David Copperfield's movie adapted from Charles Dickens. Adult David Copperfield is rowing a boat on a lake in the Swiss Alps where he arrives at the, uh, just a minute, at the shore. He docks his boat and begins walking by the gardens of a luxurious resort. He goes towards, uh, just a minute, the tea house. When he arrives at the tea room, he sees that two female acquaintances of his, uh, Miss Houghton and Miss Skeggs, are having tea in the company of a gentleman and a lady. The young ladies invite him to their table and David accepts the invitation and sits down with them. After a few mom moments, to David's surprise, the gentleman suddenly stands up and overturns the table, throwing its content towards David, who also stands up in order not to be harmed. Could you hear me, ma'am? Yes, yes, excellent. Thank you. you. Excellent. Is there any questions up to here? <clears throat> you know all the vocabulary here. For the students, this, this question. Well, nothing says anything, so we can continue. Continue. Uh, you, well, I don't remember your name. Uh, Shobra Roy. Shobra Roy. Ah, yes. Such a noise attracts the attention of the public who observe the scene in silence. After they argue, the gentleman and the lady, compa lady companion, leave the tear room. Yes, up to up to here. Oh, now I need uh, another students to play the role of David, adult David, another one of Miss Keggs. Are you ready? Who is going to be adult David? You have to read. And if a female voice can go with it, then I'm ready. <laughs> can I try, ma'am? Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Tell me your name. Uh, Amar Kumar. Amar, Amar Kumar. Amar Kumar. 
Yeah, I'm a Kuma. Yes. Yes. Read, please. Yes, ma'am. My apologies, ladies. A most unpleasant scene, but I thought you should know the truth about that man. Yes. Now, who is Miss Kex? Another student. Okay. Um, I can be Miss Kex. Yes, you can. What's your name? Samina. S A M I N A. Samina. Excellent, Samina. Mr. Copperfield, I believe you did it for her, to save her. Now, Amur Kuma. Yes, I hope she is safe, madam. But the truth is, I did it for myself, to save myself. Now, if you will excuse me, Miss Horton, madam. Such yes. a very distinguished man. Excellent. Yes, and the narrator could could read these parts with slant letters. Mm -hmm. Both ladies both respectfully and she admiringly comments to her companion as David leaves. Yes. Now, who was the the narrator? Uh, yes, read this part in slant letters. I cannot see, ma'am. Just a minute. Coming. Uh, uh, which part, ma'am? Miss Kex. Yes, when David my... departs here. Oh, so David, David departs. Yes, David departs from the tea house and goes directly to his room. He opens the window, reads profoundly, and begins to write. His own story. Yes. Uh, now, who was David? Uh, yes, sir. The, personal, yes, the personal history and experiences of a David Copperfield, the younger. Whether I shall turn out to be the hero of my own life or whether that station will be held by anybody else, this passage must show to begin my life with the beginning of my life. I here record that I was born at Blundstone in Suffolk. I was a posthumous child. My father's eyes had closed upon the light of this world six months. When I opened mine, an aunt of my father's and uh, consequently a great aunt of mine, Miss Betsy Trutwood, was the principal magnet of our family. Uh, my father had once been a favorite of hers, I believe, but she was mortally affronted when he married my mother without first presenting her for inspection and approval. Yes. Now, uh, the part in slant letters has to be read uh, by Shrubum, the, the narrator. Uh, Shubra Roy, S-H-U-B-H-R-A, Shubra Roy, R-O-Y. Uh, which one will I read? This one, Miss Betsy arrives, that one? Uh, yes, yes. Acha. Okay, okay. Miss Betsy arrives at the churchyard and, visit, and visits her nephew's tomb. Tears come out from her eyes the moment she sees his tombstone. Miss yes, Betsy... I, so, sorry, up to, up to there, because now is okay. uh, David... David uh, speaking yes, in Betsy, his yes, David. Betsy and my father never met again, and she would never see my mother. And now this part in letters for the narrator. Miss Betsy arrives at David's house on the day he is born. Yes. Uh, yes. read, read, read the character and read this part in okay. brackets. Okay. okay, okay. 
Miss Betts looks at the sign on the gate, opens it with her umbrella, and says to herself, Rookery, indeed, where are the rooks? I see no such a bird. Oh, David yes. thought. Now, yes, is the turn of. When was the state of yes. This then was the state of matters of what I may be excused for calling that important day. It yes. was a now stormy the... evening. I will read. Sorry, sorry. The, the narrator now. It was a stormy evening. David's mother. Ma'am, just a minute, ma'am. Huh. Uh, it was a stormy evening. David's mother, Mrs. Clara Copperfield, was sitting on a sofa. She was expecting in her ninth month of pregnancy and nearly due. After a clap of thunder, she looked at the door and frightened herself when she saw Miss Betsy pushing her nose against the wall window pane. Miss yes. Betsy. Now, yes, uh, well, read, but I, I need another character to take the role of Miss Betsy. Who is going to read? Uh, Sam Samina? You yes, were, ma'am, I can I read. Miss, Miss K, Miss Keggs. Yes, ma'am, I was can, Yes, you can if another if there isn't there isn't another uh, student another volunteer. So Samina, uh, you will be uh, Miss Betsy. Okay, ma'am. Open the front door, Mr. David Copperfield. I think. See, sorry, Mrs. sorry, David because... Copperfield. I think. <laughs> Sorry, Samina. Uh, the narrator has to read the parts in brackets yes. and slant letters. When Clara opens the door, Miss Betsy, uh, sorry, and sorry, where did it go? Opens the door and looks contemptuously at her. Yes, now you... Mrs. Will... David Copperfield, I think. Yes, and another character would be Mrs. Copperfield. Who will inter uh, intervene here? Who will act as Mrs. Copperfield? Jeshima, are you there? We need uh, a character for uh, Mrs. Copperfield. Yes, who can? Bueno, I will be Mrs. Copperfield because now <laughs> students. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. <laughs> you, test, you test my reading or skill also, ma'am. So, so I'll be Mrs. Copperfield. So, okay. yes. Now, Samina. Miss Betsy Trotwood. You have heard of her, I dare say. I have had that pleasure. And now you see her. Miss now Betsy, right. uh, yes. Miss Betsy enters the sitting room, walks about, and takes uh, out her cloak. Then she adds another log to the fire while Mrs. Copperfield enters the room crying because she married David's father, got and six months before David's birth, her husband died. Yes. Well, uh, Samina, you are Miss Betsy. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Don't do that. Right. Stop it. Stop it. There. Yes. Now let me look at you. Come. Come, come. She puts a candle closer to Clara's face to watch her better and is 
amazed. God bless my heart. You are a very baby. And a childish widow. And I'll be a childish mother if I live. Nonsense. You sit down. Sit, you down child, in a chair by the fire. She complains to, about the house's name. The rookery, the rookery, indeed. Where are the rooks? The villagers. You, you have to say bewildered. Uh, the narrator says bewildered. Bewildered. What, man? Rooks. Large black birds of the crow family. There are none here now. In the name of heaven, why the rookery? You mean the house? Of course, I mean the house. What did you mean? The name was Mr. Copperfield's choice on account of their old nests in the garden. David Copperfield all over calls the house a rookery. And there's not a rook near it. Take the birds on trust because he sees the nest. Uh, the narrator okay. says angrily, Mr. Copperfield is dead. How dare you speak unkindly of him? Ah, ah. At this moment, her labor pains begin. Excellent. Yes. So the students have to read and take parts of the characters. And if they have some questions, if questions arise, uh, the teacher has to explain uh, vocabulary items, for example, and then they read the, the glossary. For example, uh, who, who, and, and other students who want to participate, or perhaps Samina or Amakur can read one each. For example, the first one is the verb. Mama, I can read one. Yes, please, this one. To affront. To affront, yes. To affront. Usually used with the preposition by in passive voice. Insulter, offender. Insulter, offender. His insolent speech affronted us. The teacher was affronted by the swear words the students were saying. Affront. Yes, yes. So, sorry. But here I wrote it in Spanish. It is advisable for you to look up the verb affront in the dictionary, in the Hindi dictionary, and uh, understand the meaning in Hindi. I don't know how to say it in Hindi. Do you, uh, Samina or Amaku? Oh. Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. In Hindi, actually, I my Hindi is weak too. Well, you can tell the audience the meaning of, of this word. Excellent. Uh, well, uh, now is uh, Amakura. Amakura. I think the meaning is Bezati, if I'm not wrong. Uh, insult Karna, Kisika. Uh, Bezati, one is it? Yes, Bezati, another Karna. Uh, Bezati Karna. The teacher was affronted by the swear words. Teacher ko Bezat feel hua. Kind of. No, no, feel like the teacher was affronted by the swear words the students were saying. And the children who were saying the same thing, the teacher was insulted. So the teacher was insulted. So I think Bezati, yes ma'am, Bezati yes. is the word. Yes, you are explaining in Hindi to the audience. Hmm? You can use, uh, I, I'm just interrupting for a moment, Berta. Uh, yes. I'm sorry, I'm not keeping the video on. I'm Poonam Sahai. And you can also say Apman instead of Bezati. Yes. You can say Apman in Hindi, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Apman Janak Filua. Yes. Apman Manit Hue. Ha, Apanit Hue. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Uh, well, the second piece of glossary is this one. Who can read? Uh, Amur Ma? Yes, ma'am. Acquaintance. Persons known. Uh, Konoshido. My, grand, my granddaughter, Maureen, is very popular. She has a lot of acquaintances in our neighborhood. 
नहीं आप अर्जेंटीना में हर जगह चमड़े की वस्तुएं खरीद सकते हैं क्योंकि यह एक मवेशी देश है गायों वाला देश है मवेशियों वाला देश है well, can we continue with the two more uh, and this is this is it because it's time no uh, labor yes because the following activity was to complete the sentences with the um, terms of the glossary so we can't do this because the, the lesson will be over i think so we can read uh, these two terms and the lesson is over uh, samina your turn yes ma'am labor pains it's a noun phrase phrasal Excellent. noun child which means childbirth contractions dolores de parto contractions she was injected by peridural to diminish her labor pains the pronunciation is labor pains in hindi it means janm ke waqt hone wala dard i yes. don't know the exact words but that's pretty much the meaning yes this is uh, here i i make a footnote because it's a medicine they gave here in argentina to people who is going to do and this type of local anesthetic used in surgery it is also called epidural yes is the name of the medicine this is an injection they gave to pregnant uh, women that are going to to have their babies and the last one uh, amur kuma yes ma'am to act on trust Ex expression and uh, irregular verb ask to ask participle taken or uh, that clause except as true without having any proof tenor por seguro tomar como verdad fiar she Peter took on trust that Paul was telling the truth. Pronunciation: take on trust, take and trust, take on trust. Yes, and in Hindi, can you translate? Yakin manna. Yes. Okay. विश्वास करना इन मानना. Yes, विश्वास करना. Well, uh, we can stop here. Okay. Yeah, um, Professor Agneta, we have to uh, close, wrap up the session today. Yes, uh, I'm so thankful to everybody whosoever has been uh, there to motivate uh, our young, the teacher and the educationist, uh, Professor Agneta. i'm so uh, obliged for everybody to have attended her session and please keep this motivation up for tomorrow and uh, so that she may keep on continuing with her lectures she has got still uh, two more classes this week and the next week she has uh, four more classes so she will be covering her 300 pages book within 8 hours and all of you will get the feedback link either on 26th or 27th february and it will be open for two more days so that you can send your feedback so please continue to attend the classes because there are very very interesting sessions on sundays saturdays even on tuesdays when bertha is not available right bertha see you goodbye see you. may i ask sorry may i ask how many people was um, here in this yeah, class uh, i just uh, tell you 14 i can uh, see from my side and there are other uh, outsiders 14 40 ah excellent 14 14 is in business account and 14 are outside for 14 14 14 outside ah, yeah, one four one four uh, yes so wow. around 30 30 30 around 30 people joined your class cool excellent well thank you very much 
see you tomorrow thank you thank you i am from patna bihar okay bye 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 thank you ma'am see you thank you